What scam, legal, is still operating that you can't believe people are buying into? Going out of business sales for furniture store mattress stores used car lots. There is a mattress store near me that has been going out of business for the last 15 years. I'm convinced that mattress furniture stores exist in a quantum superposition of grand opening and going out of business sale. It is both and neither at once until an observer records the state at which point it becomes one or the other. But because you know exactly where the store is located, you cannot know how fast it is going out of business because of your uncertainty about its business momentum. All around us. All the time pairs of anti-discount mattress stores and discount mattress stores are popping into existence. Forming the quantum memory foam that is the basis for the universe. Without the pressure of this quantum memory foam strip malls would collapse. We can see evidence of this when a pair is created such that one half is within the sales radius of a supermassive furniture store like IKEA. One of them is pulled in and the other escapes as a hawking mattress store. Debt relief companies, especially the student loan ones that will charge you $600 a month so they can call your servicer, pretend they're you, and put your loans in forbearance. In the meantime, they pocket your cash and your loan balance grows. I'm not saying they're errand companies that scam people, but I had 3 maxed out credit cards during the recession and I went through a debt counselor company. They reduced all 3 cards to one payment and eliminated most of the interest letting me pay off my credit card debt in less than a year. It was one of the best financial decisions I ever made. Just saying. Yellow Pages Scams. This is how it works. A business gets a pamphlet in the mail that says something like confirm your information and it has a little yellow pages logo on it. The fingers walking publicly available for free use. So most people go alright put in their business info and sign it. Then a couple weeks later they get an invoice for something like $300 for listing services and a lot of companies will just pay it without thinking. But the ones that refuse to pay of course get very upset and try and cancel their listing but they have to go through several hoops to do so. The United States Postal Service tried to take a lot of the companies down for mail fraud but they ended up losing against the companies. This is happening right now for Google Business. Someone calls saying your Google Business information is at risk for displaying incorrectly and you need to talk to a representative to fix it. I followed through once. Full well knowing all the info is correct because I claimed the business and updated it myself, and they were going to charge $50 fee to update the info that was correct. I told them off and hung up. They called 2, 3, times a day from different area codes throughout the country. Anything. Pill. Pump. One crazy trick. That promises to grow your dong. I mean let's be real, if any of that crap even kinda sorta worked it would have a whole aisle in Walmart already. FAFSA.com and any other site that tries to get you to pay for help applying for aid or scholarships. Hint, the first F in FAFSA stands for free and the official site is FAFSA.gov. And you can be your own boss, and make 500k a year just like me. Look at my beautiful wife, and home. It's all because of our morals and business model that we are a success. All you have to do is sign 5 people up under you to distribute our products, and for every person they sign up you will receive a percentage of their earnings. We are a multi-level marketing company, sounds great right? It does sound pretty good, a hidden cost is that you must alienate 95 of your closest family and acquaintances in order to find 5 suckers. FreeCreditReport.com It gives you the illusion that it is free and is too similar to the government offered service. Annualcreditreport.com Creditkalma.com is free, loaded with ads for various credit services, but free nonetheless. Anything medical in goop, the Gwyneth Paltrow website magazine. I don't think I've heard one sane medical professional agree with any of the advice that is doled out. It just seems like a huge scam that is eventually going to come crashing down on her sooner or later. So lots, it's not that people buy into them, just that the way they operate is legal and you have no choice. You can't get towed Friday night and they're closed Saturday and Sunday, but they charge you for each of those days when you pick your car up Monday, not to mention how much they charge. If you don't have savings, your car getting towed means you no longer have a car for a lot of people.
My ex's car was towed because he was parked on the street during a snowstorm, which is to be expected. We figured out where his car was and I gave him a ride to go retrieve it. We're told it's $123, cash only, exact change only. He points out the credit card reader on the counter and the Mastercard and Visa logos on the door and the guy said, what part of cash only don't you understand between the two of us we had something like $125 and I would have just written off the extra $2 to be done with it. But my ex had me go to my car and scrounge around for change. We managed to get together exactly $123 and hand it over. He pulls out of his pocket an enormous wad of cash, adds our cash to his cash, and returns the roll to his pocket. My ex asks for a receipt and he tells him the printer is down. We're then told to wait outside and we can have the car back when the manager returns. The manager finally returns about 20 minutes later and wants to charge us for another hour. He asks for a receipt and we tell him we weren't given one because the printer is down. There was some back and forth between the manager, the guy behind the counter, and a third guy that I didn't know was out back, and the manager agrees to release my ex's car. I would find out a few years later that according to the contract they had with the city the max we should have been charged was $120, and probably closer to $80 depending when they came and towed it after the police ticketed it and called it in. They also were busted for adding in various fees that they weren't supposed to be adding, which explains why it was $123 and not $120, they were charging everyone a $3 fee, if you had a receipt, or a credit card statement, you could get that fee returned. The newspaper also estimated that during one storm the tow company towed about 120 vehicles, but only claimed something like 80 to the city and the 80 claimed to the city conveniently had receipts. This all came to light because the tow company had a contract to tow cars from a private parking lot. They gave a cell phone to a homeless guy and paid him $20 for every car he called in to be towed. There was complaints about people getting immediately towed so the newspaper parked a car there, walked off, and recorded the homeless guy calling it in and a few minutes later the tow truck showing up and the driver paying the guy. The Phone calls saying they need to talk to you about your computer, credit cards or student loans or saying you won some big prize and they just need some info. Any business that calls me, frick off, if I want your product I'll contact you. Organic cleansing drinks. Your intestines naturally clean themselves by shedding epithelium the equivalent of a tennis court worth of surface area every few days. How do I know this? Cancer research biologist and my lab focused on colorectal cancer. That juicero juice a thing that's currently selling for $400. It only juices pods sold by the company, won't juice them if they're even a day expired, and won't work unless it's connected to the internet. Though I'm not sure if anyone's buying into it, the fact that it's staying afloat somehow is baffling me. The whole glasses industry is one giant scam. The frames you pay $150 for cost the store like 12 cents, and the high-end Tiffany's and Tom Ford ones that go for $350 500 most max $45 50. Lens prices are hyperinflated too. They get away with it because Luxortica had a monoploy on pretty much the entire industry from manufacturing to retail to insurance. Glassershop.com the first time I used them it was free, after I got drunk and broke those, I bought 4 pairs for $80. Pooper scoopers are a huge scam, for example, every time I witness my next door neighbor's dog take a huge dump in my yard, which they do nothing about, I go get my pooper scooper, the one I use for my dog. The problem happens when I try to launch it into the trash can, and the aiming system somehow gets all fricked up, and their dog's poop seems to always land right in the middle of the pool in their backyard. Every. Dang. Time. Pooper scoopers need their aiming systems recalibrated. Someone could get hurt. Your neighbor should be glad the turds don't make their way onto their car windshields as well. The art institutes. Absolutely no criteria for being accepted and brings the legitimacy of all other art programs down. Former RE student here, all that BS with the dead vets so they could get GI Bill money, and when you sign up it seems reasonable some credits will not transfer, they never tell you that absolutely no credits will transfer, the rest of these scams are lame, but this will actually ruin your life, 96 credits and $66,000 of debt for nothing. 
literally any multi-level marketing company, Advocare, Amway, Worldwide Dream Builders, Mind, Prepaid Legal, Itworks, anything with Tay Lopez. Basically these business are all scams, they will draw you in with their photos of people with great teeth standing next to their Lambus and private jets. It all starts with some stranger asking you about your dreams, mentions some mentor or how they're entrepreneurs, they aren't, and how they started a business, they didn't, and they will eventually ask you for a coffee and not explain a goddamn thing. But long story short, whenever a stranger approaches me and starts asking me about my hopes and dreams out of the blue, I automatically assume they're about to ask me to join them for coffee sometimes to talk about some opportunity. When I first moved to my new city, I met a girl in my building and we got along really well. I was so excited to be friends with her, and we went to dinner. She mentioned something about a midnight meeting with a mentor and it seemed odd, but I kind of let it slide. We talked about school and moving and hopes for the future. The next day she calls me and says you mentioned your school debt last night. I have an opportunity you would be really interested in. Let's have coffee and I knew. She didn't really want to be my friend, she wanted to bring someone else into her pyramid. I've been avoiding her ever since. Ticket resellers. I recently looked for tickets for a certain band. If you buy from the band or the venue, the tickets are $36. If you buy from one of the ads at the top of the Google search, they are $69. Also, you can get better seating for $100 plus. It's a punk show. There's no seating. I never click on the ad results, but somehow, I did this time. Total bulls. Ugh had to go through ticket resellers restly because they bought up all the gorillas tickets using bots within 3 seconds of them coming on sale. For me it's the magnets they sell for water treatment, the ones you attach to your pipes, mostly take advantage of the elderly. The sell your house now for cash. Signs I see on telephone poles around my town for money. I don't understand how anyone could believe someone had 200-800k on hand, and if they did, wants to buy a random house for it. I'd say half of these are scams. Half are legit. The legit ones are usually businesses that are buying up houses so they can develop something else in the area in the future. Sovereign citizen gurus. These gurus claim to teach you how to get millions of dollars from the government by using pseudological nonsense and red ink. People pay thousands for this. Spoiler alert. It doesn't work. Yup. Sovereign citizens all seem to have dropped out of school at 12. Freaking morons who think the United States of America is a scam. And that a jury will never convict them. This water is harvested from the springs of insert exotic place and was filtered using reverse osmosis to give you a healthy experience for mind, body, and soul. And it still tastes like tap water you piece of crap. Comma filtered using reverse osmosis. Once it's been through RO, it's pretty much pure, so it doesn't matter in the slightest where it came from. Oh, and you can get a RO system for your sink fairly easily if you want it. All the MLMS, but especially the health ones, look. You freaking T, my sister's got an ED, depression, and a learning disability, and two kids to look after. She's lonely and looking for friends and a job. Don't you bring your bee butt on her Facebook peddling your trash. I will take you the frick down. Televangelists. I understand that generally religion serves important psychological functions, but these hucksters are still getting filthy rich with a shtick that makes snake oil look like a bargain. Snake oil usually contained higher levels of alcohol and laudanum and you could buy it on Sundays when many jurisdictions prohibited the sale of alcohol. MLMs. Sales is one thing. Working in sales generally means you have a strategy. Target. You ask all of the qualifying questions to suit the person's needs. In a multi-level marketing scheme, you aren't qualifying people. Because instead, you see everyone as a sales target, or in a some cases, everyone of a particular gender, say, pure romance or Mary Kay, or everyone interested in health, ex life. They don't really have a strategy, and if you're not interested, they don't just overcome the objection once and let it go if it doesn't work, they continue trying to get you a used car. And not only that, but when you're dealing with a direct seller, you can't trust them. Everything they do or say could be a way to try and rope you in. 
For example, World Ventures tells their sellers to contact their friends and family to say I have to show you something. Amway will tell people to recruit others by saying well, it's a beating for professionals. Like minded people without saying it's Amway. They tell you how to interact with people. Occasionally changing it up every once in a while when a certain saying etc becomes too well known or tired. So, how does anyone know that that you, the MLM direct seller, is saying something sincere, and not some bulls to try and trick them into buying crap or joining your downline? Sales is one thing because the idea is to get people to trust you. If you're in an MLM, no one can trust that their interactions with you are genuine. We guarantee a win with your first bid pack basically means, we will let our bots ease off on whatever the least valuable item is. Weight loss pills. My cousin, God bless her ambitious soul, is a product of a negligent father and obese mom, so she did become overweight, when she realized that what she's doing is wrong, she's trying to reverse it, maybe she's trying to take a shortcut, but it's not working. Vector knives. I can't remember the name of the knives but there's a recruitment company called Vector that basically trains you to become a door to door salesman for knives. You buy a set for like $300 or something ridiculous and then sell the knives for a profit and pay the company back. Except if you don't pay them back in time they charge interest or something. They tried to recruit me because a friend listed me as a reference which apparently means the friend signed me up to call after call about coming into orientation. I legitimately just got a letter in the mail from Victor. In big bold letters it said $15 L per appointment. The entire thing was worded to sound like a paid internship for college students. Even said that had a flexible schedule that work with class times. Sending students home with marked up bulls that you, as the parent, are expected to sell to other parents family members friends on their behalf. Selling some coin as though it's a spendable coin that is 0.9999%, that's 4 nines of pure gold 14 milligrams for $30 plus bucks. 14 mg of gold is about 90 cents worth of gold, as an investment opportunity. That thrive patch going around Facebook, B, you've got a caffeine patch on your jugular, of course you feel like you could fight a tiger, it's not magic. College textbooks. I just spent $156 on a book for linear algebra that I will never have an assignment out of, and that contains the same information that every linear algebra textbook has contained for the last 50 years. Here's the kicker though, it comes with a sign-in code to Pearson's My Math Lab which we need to complete the online homeworks in the class, so we were forced to buy this crappy textbook we will never use for an hidden password so that we can be graded online. Frick me. 1. Herbalife. Cutco. Insurance schemes. Basically any pyramid scheme. 2. University textbooks. 3. Selling your personal information for a free service, especially one that provides little to no utility. Mobile game markets. Mobile games strive off of microtransactions and many of them have this RNG summoning type style. People, myself included, can spend, insert your definition of luxurious amount of money trying to get this one really good or rare unit champion character and have it. Several patches later they nerf we can what's great about the character and now you spent however much you had spent on is absolutely useless. It's absolute garbage how these mobile games legally get away with false advertisement with their RNG chance bulls. Quote from the IAU regarding this, thus, like true love and many other of the best things in human life, the beauty of the night sky is not for sale, but is free for all to enjoy. True, the gift of a star may open someone's eyes to the beauty of the night sky this is indeed a worthy goal, but it does not justify deceiving people into believing that real star names can be bought like any other commodity. Source. You did not actually link the source. Carney. I got sucked into one of their meeting because the girl that invited is beautiful and we had just gone out on a date. She is so good at selling this crap to where the company bought her a Porsche boxer. I got out of there at the end and texted the girl if she wanted to go out again the next day. She never responded I assume because I didn't buy into her cult. Guys, state lotteries. I can't believe this wasn't already the top answer. First, they took over the illegal, predatory numbers game from the mob and gave it a new name. Then they made the odds of winning even more remote. 
then they got a bunch of impoverished gambling addicts to hand over the money their families actually need, every single day, then they dumped almost all of the revenue it generates into lottery administration advertising, while lying that the money goes to help schools, it doesn't, but even if it did, seems like a pretty freaking regressive way to pay for the most basic of services that everyone deserves and ought to help pay for. Early Access Video Games People are scrambling to buy these games, then sit frustrated in forums going it's early asses it's not done yet in defense of something they know just isn't true, it's like an abusive relationship. Love to tell you but my stocks fell down and I am losing money, life as a Nigerian prince can be hard, can you help out a bit, I just need some money. Textbooks are expensive f contains loads of textbooks for free, I've managed to find about 90% of all the textbooks I need for my course, books.org, the domain has now changed to be ok.org, exact same site, different name, it could very well be due to the traffic or popularity my original comment brought or it could be some other factor entirely, but it stayed as be ok.org for a good while, and hopefully will continue to do so for the foreseeable future, scholar google co uk, I still love this Google service for references and finding articles, but I barely use it to find free articles anymore. I have almost completely switched over to http colon slash slash booksy.org slash which is provided by the same folks who host BOKOG. Show them some love and donate if you can, hell of a lot cheaper than paying 200 pounds. This site has almost never failed me. But do note that Google Scholar is still amazing and a godsend for referencing. Use the two sites in conjunction. The Imperial Library of Tanta. I don't know whether to recommend this site since I'm sure you can find whatever's on it on numerous torrent sites that can actually be accessed normally via Chrome or Firefox. Tor is really amazing but perhaps not worth the hassle in this case. But do check this Dart Onion site out if you're curious. It's really cool. A couple more sites and tips on where how to get books or articles that have helped me personally as a current undergraduate, mentioned by a couple users as well. HTTP colon slash slash gen dot lib dot rus dot ec slash library genesis. I read a comment that said it has more books than even Booksorg but I don't think that's true since, according to library genesis, Booksorg is supposed to be a mirror site, but hey, if I'm wrong. That's even better, more books. Also, keep in mind that this site can also be used to find published articles. https colon slash slash scholar dot google dot co dot uk slash google scholar. My favorite resource for finding free articles online. A lot of people I've met say they like google scholar but it doesn't actually give you any articles for free. Just shows a list of articles that either I have to buy from another website. Sometimes the articles can be free, such as this one which will take you to a website where you can freely download the PDF. These are the nice, simple ones. Sometimes, it's a bit trickier. If the website doesn't give it for free, you can click or version below the article on Google Scholar, and you'll find loads of different versions of the same article and, hopefully, a PDF version as well. The PDF version will always be free, in my experience. It has been uncommon to encounter an article which has no free versions on Google Scholar, but sometimes, you'll just have to face the truth, there are no free versions. However, it's very likely you will find almost identical articles for free and at the very least an abstract or a summary so don't lose all hope. https colon slash slash appenstacks.org slash openstacks a website that lets you download a handful of books for free, and these books are amazing. They're not textbooks, they're more like revision guides. The best way to explain it is if Khan Academy was turned into books. Actually Khan Academy uses OpenStax as a basis for a lot of their articles. If you're doing science then definitely check these books out. They don't do many other subject areas though. https colon slash slash unblocked dot cam slash Unlocked, just contains a list of torrent sites, I only use the Pirate Bay, Kickers Torrents, and it's, I would recommend a VPN, I use Peer, when downloading torrents just in case, I usually use torrenting for textbooks as a last resort, I almost never find books that I'm looking for in these sites, 
However, for famous books, torrenting is the best choice. The only reason textbooks are hard to find on torrent sites is because no one torrents them. They are not popular enough. The Imperial Library of Tanta, HTTP, colon slash slash, xfmro77i3 lixic jar, dot onion, slash. Don't bother clicking on that link if you're on a normal browser. For example, Chrome or Firefox. You need to install and use Tor browser to open Dart Onion URLs. People will tell you all sorts of scary crap about Tor. Some lies, some truths but this isn't one of them. There aren't that many books on this site compared to Booksorg but a lot of famous books, such as the Harry Potter series, remain on it without being taken down. In contrast, a website like Booksorg needs to take the books down from their site if their legal owner tells them to, which is why you can't download Harry Potter books from Booksorg. I've managed to download all of Terry Pratchett's works, RIP. I will definitely be legally buying as many Discworld series as I can and JK Rowling's plus loads more. The only problem with Dart Onion sites is that their URL keeps changing from time to time, due to being taken down. So this link might not work by the time you're editing this so you might have to do a bit of digging around to find the right link. That was quite long but hopefully this helps some ohm. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.